Yo, what's up, gentlemen? So before I get into this video, just know I'm a little sick. So if you hear the congestion, that's why. That's what's up. But I had to get a video out today, and I wanted to basically break down some audio for you of an approach I made probably like a year ago even. Um, this is like one of the older clips that I show my clients. Still go out all the time and, and get audio, and I'm going to do more audio breakdowns, texting breakdowns for you guys, as well as some audio from dates and really just like kind of documents the entire like lifestyle of what it looks like to just have women in your life. So you guys get get like a really good idea of what exactly that looks like. So the first part of me doing that is showing you what just an average approach looks like. So this is an approach from over a year ago that ended up with me on a date with this girl. I get into it and basically break down kind of what I'm thinking. The audio, I still have to figure out how to do the audio right now. The audio is gonna be coming from my computer into my into my mic, which I know isn't ideal, but uh, it should work out fine. So let me know in the comments how you guys found it, if it was useful, like the video, if you liked it, subscribe if you're new, and let's hop over to the audio. All right. All right, so I'm gonna let it play for about 10, 15 seconds, maybe 20 seconds, so you guys can hear generally how I run the interaction at the start. So you can see it's like really playful and, and stuff at first and how important it is to be in a flow state. And you're just going about your day. Hi, excuse me, this is very random. Hi. I just, I wanted to meet you really quick. Yeah. I saw you walking and you were very short. Yeah. And you looked interesting, <laughs> so I wanted to say hi. Hi, I'm Ellie. I'm, I'm Tim. I'm Tim. Yeah, this is my friend Troy. Hi. Yeah, yeah we're just kind of walking around. Um, taking a break from work. Yeah. Where are you headed? Um, right within the first 20 seconds, I make like a tease towards her. So I'm like already teasing right away and just saying like, hi, you're short. You know, just immediately like, I'm not sure about you. But it's still like you can tell in my tonality that's like very fun and playful. So I want you guys to pick up on any times that she kind of qualifies to me. So anytime that she basically decides that, oh wait, I need to like prove myself to this guy. And there's a couple times in here that this happens and this isn't like i, I didn't handpick this because this isn't like the best approach ever like honestly it's like a little awkward at some points and i'm a little you know shy or whatever because uh, i hadn't been talking to a ton of people at this point in my life but i think it's really important that you guys understand like this is just what it looks like when i'm just like in a natural flow and i'm not just like in dating coach mode i'm just like kind of walking about my day interior design oh, okay do you go to school here yeah okay do you have to like go right now is it like no, urgent Okay, let's, let's go over here and talk. Okay, so I approached this girl like in the middle of the sidewalk. And so immediately I try to establish that it's like, it's totally okay if you leave. I'm confident enough, like you can leave if you want, right? And if she was like, yeah, I really have to go, I'm in a rush. Then I know, okay, well, let me just grab your number, like throw out like a shot in the dark. Like maybe I grab your number and we hang out at some point. But since she says, no, I'm actually 20 minutes early. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's let's go over here and talk. And I just walked over to like the shade where it was like because it was kind of hot that day. We started chatting there. For a moment, Troy just walk around. He's good. Okay. And I'll, uh, so know. I was I was with Troy and I was just walking. He's the other coach in my program, and I was like, oh no, <laughs> he'll just walk around. So I just kind of told him like, hey, fuck off. But yeah, we were just like walking around after some work at a coffee shop. Chat. Uh, I don't do this a lot, so I'm not really sure exactly. What you're supposed to do when you hit on a girl in public, but um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It is a little warm. All right. Yeah. So we went in the shade. Like, you notice she was like, "Hey, let's go in the shade." And also, like, you can tell I'm a little awkward, and this is totally fine. Like, if you guys, because like I ended up on a date with this girl, so if you find yourself like running out of things to say, and you're like, ah, "I don't know what to say," and you just say like, ah, "I don't do this a lot," like, I don't know what you do when you hit on a girl in public. Like, it's totally fine because it's authentic. Like, genuinely, I didn't know what to say. Like. I hadn't been like talking to a ton of people. I hadn't been that social. And so giving her an idea like, hey, like this isn't like normal for me. Like I'm not trying to like, this isn't weird, whatever. Like I'm just like a dude, I'm just a normal guy. That actually like plays in your favor when it's authentic, when it's real. The important thing is that you have to be like super real with it. Well, let's pretend. Uh, so I have my own business. So yeah. So we just like, I just on my laptop all day and like, do this thing. But, yeah, it's, it's really fun what do you do? for sure. Uh, so I actually work with Troy and we like teach people how to be like more social and like confident uh, and stuff. Are you doing a great job? I, I am, I am trying. Taking your own advice. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Are you like, I feel like you're not shy. I feel like you're pretty, no, I'm not very shy. Yeah. And pretty outgoing. Yeah. Yeah. Is your middle name like, fuck. I actually don't know. Are I feel like I'm, 
Just like tan or something basic or shit. Shit. Right away, like you can tell when I run out of things to say. Basically, I, I try to come up with some sort of assumption about her. So I'm trying to. Okay, let's make some sort of assumption. Is your middle name something like? And then I like try to come up with something. It'd be way better here if I just like came up with something and just said like, is it like Emily or is it blah 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 or whatever? Or is it like something crazy? You know. But making an assumption is always a good way to go. Like I feel like this about you. You know. I feel like this is something about you. Okay. And also she like tells me what her middle name is and I immediately like misinterpret and kind of like put a spin on it like, oh, okay, so you're, you're a little crazy then. You're different than I feel like most girls that I talk to. I'm on Jayden, a softball team. Athletic. Yeah, I'm like, oh, you're like, you're not super basic basically. And then this is when like, like I told you like pay attention, like this is when she starts qualifying. So she's like, oh, I'm, I'm on the softball team or whatever, like at like the local university, like, oh, I'm on the softball team. My name's Jaden. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. What else could you want? Um, I don't know. What else could you want? Like millions of dollars. Maybe. Uh. Okay, so basically, I told her like, well, this is what I could want, right? She's like, oh, what, what more could you want, right? And she's like, kind of qualifying. I'm like, oh, well, I could want this. So I'm just like not playing in to like a lot of guys would be way too nice here. They'd be like, oh yeah, I don't, I don't need anything. Like, <laughs> you're perfect. But I just like come up with something. And yeah, it's a little awkward. Like I said, like this is not. The best approach I've ever done in my entire life, but it's just you have to not ever give too much when you're in the approach. You know, when you when you're talking to her, just never give too much. Like never play too much into it. Cause the thing is, it feels a lot safer for her if she feels like she's trying to get you. As soon as it feels like you're trying to get her, then it can feel awkward. Then it can feel weird. It can feel like, you know, you're chasing her and you're in public and, and you're in a position of power. But as soon as she feels like she's chasing all that stuff. You know, that's actually like more safe feeling for her because she's doing it out of her own, you know, like she wants to do that. Uh, I'm 24. Oh, okay, well. In okay, so she's like, how old are you? I was like, 24. And then she said, oh, I'm 19. And I was like, ooh, immediately, no matter what, I always kind of find some way to like make a tease out of it. So I'm like, ah, you know, like normally girl, like it's cut off at like 21 usually. Oh, Troy. Or maybe I said 20. Oh, all right, cool. Okay, sounds good. All right, nice I'll see you there. Um, all right, well, if we'll see if you suck. Normally I have a cutoff at 20, so we'll see. I'm almost 20. Yeah, so I'm like, normally I have a cutoff at 20. It's like, oh, I'm almost 20, right? That's another qualification, like she's chasing. And like, no, it's like two minutes in and she's qualified like quite a bit, just in terms of like, basically making sure that she isn't disqualified from going on a date with me. Okay. December. The birthday's on New Year's Eve, okay. actually. Mm, that's, that's, that's pretty cool. Interesting. Fuck. You're trying and really she's hard like, to like impress me. I like it. I like it. Good job. Uh, adequate. Yeah. Yeah, and so she's like, oh, am I doing a good job of like impressing you? I'm like, adequate. So I'm going to leave a link in the description to the rest of this clip where you can just like listen to the whole audio but i just wanted to do a quick breakdown like i would do for someone in my coaching program so you guys can hear what it's actually like Ho hopefully i took away some of the mystery of what it's like to make an approach so you actually know what it sounds like and you know that it doesn't have to be perfect like even a guy that's like getting dates a guy that is getting really good results doesn't have to be perfect he just has to know a few principles make approaches like actually go out and talk to people put himself in positions where like good things can happen for him and look for opportunity and that's really all you have to do at the end of the day. So hopefully this is helpful. Let me know in the comments down below what you want to see from me in the future. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.